what is up guys so it's another another beautiful day as you can see my background just walking from my house down to the honda it's been a little while since we recorded a video about my honda the white ek sedan so today we're gonna be doing some street tuning and talking to the camera so stay tuned and here she is sitting looking all lonely she hasn't been given much love hasn't gotten much love over the last couple weeks been a couple weeks since i took her out so today we're gonna be looking over the tune and doing some street driving and for those of you who are new to the channel there she is single cam d15b non-vtec ebay turbo manifold wastegate volvo tdo4 turbo i think it's a 13t tdo4 hl factory distributor 550 cc injectors from a gen 4 free fgd toyota motor and it has some arp head studs that's about it for the engine we also have a stage 3 ebay clutch and pressure plate it's running it has a four a 340 liter per hour then so fuel pump and running on speedway no standalone ecu Alrighty, so I have my laptop set up, Tuner Studio open, which is the tuning software for ECU. ECU is in there, USB cord, wideband, I don't mind the wideband. It's a bit, <laughs> I got it from a friend. It costs more than my, my ECU setup. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing the easy way today. We're going to be doing auto-tune. You may have heard all of this before. This is basically auto-tune right here so if we go here this is my fuel ratio target table the car is on eight pounds eight pounds is about 155 kpa so my fuel ratios should be somewhere between 11.9 and 12 oh. so we're looking at around 12 one should be my fuel ratios because it interpolates interpolates basically means it will be blended between these two cells this is my peak boost my boost controller will be off so how this works um this is the current fuel table it just be driving and the software will basically just be trimming this adding or removing fuel based on the fuel ratios you are hitting while it's driving you will be doing this in real time and i also have it set so that it updates the issue as we go along so you'll also be seeing my fuel ratios here the the uh, software will be doing the stuff in the in the background and we'll just be driving along and hopefully get to clean up the map um, like i said the car is on eight pounds now so we're not expecting anything spectacular so yeah let's get on with it so we started up um car is pretty cold as you can see 33 degrees celsius um we had in somewhere on a 13.2 the car will lean out as we allow it to warm up um kind of open down pipe it's really loud so hopefully i will try my best to not speak over the exhaust because i know it's usually very difficult for you guys to hear me so yeah i'm gonna allow it to warm up and then i'm gonna take it out for a drive um i have a camera mount somewhere here so i'm using a cell phone so you guys will have a, a view from the passenger seat of my car Right, it'll be just like you guys are riding along with me.
result of the table but before that um, did a little idle tuning so we have the car in it somewhere around 14.4 thereabouts put in pretty good vacuum all right let me switch off okay so this is the fuel map you would see some blue and yellow over the map um, blue indicates places where the auto tune added fuel to the, the fuel map and red would be where it reduced the fuel map so this is the changes didn't make too many changes the map was pretty close um, i had already street tuned this car pretty well about two months ago i forgot the state i left it in um, you can also look at this in 3d view so the map still looks somewhat smooth like we have a little deep air but you can always go in and clean this up afterwards and that in a nutshell is pretty much auto tune and me street tuning my car it's not perfect um you may i think in one of the clips you will see the car um have something sort of a hesitation i need to figure that out i'm suspecting maybe i have a loose coupler or something but the car seems pretty healthy on the eight pounds next up next couple days i will do some street tuning and raising the the boost up to somewhere around 13 or 14 pounds all right so a couple of videos ago i showed you guys a white integra which i picked up um well long and shallow of it is that that integra is gone basically the deal fell through what we had we had a deal with the guy where um it was part of a, a trade where he gets the the engine and transmission from his from the car which was supposed to go in his car because he has a civic as well with a busted engine so he wanted the engine i already have a spare d15 um long and short of it the guy ended up wanting more out of the deal than we bargained for so we just i just returned the car to him and that was the end of the on the project but i do however have a couple plans for the near future um the white honda is going to go up for sale i think i've just about um done all i needed to do all i needed to learn from from it and the plan is again i'm gonna get another daily and i also gonna start i'm gonna be starting another project let me show you guys what i have well, i've had it for a while but let me show it to you my youtube viewers Ready? so don't mind the mess i'm under my house yeah so i picked up this about i think i'm going on two years ago it has basically been sitting here Let's see if i can get something for you yeah hope you guys can read this so this is an sr20 ve um basically the dual vvt version of the sr20s which some of you may know from the us um i picked this up i picked it up pretty pretty <laughs> pretty cheap a while back i have gearbox harness i think i have the issue somewhere but i'm gonna be well i'm gonna be throwing this into a lightweight chassis i'm thinking of a b13 nissan Sentra. i'm probably gonna get it down to as light as it can go and then gonna throw the motor on build a harness suspension um what else and of course a speed no ecu yeah and probably some nitrous so this is going to be my next project so you will be seeing it on the channel in some upcoming videos Alrighty guys, and that would just about wrap it up. So video may be all over the place. Um yeah, so Honda is gonna be up for sale. I think I just showed you some street tuning, auto tune. I hope to make a more comprehensive video on the subject of auto tune, but I feel like it's been covered so many times that I don't know. Anyways, you guys will let me know if you want a full video on auto tune. Yeah, so I showed you my SR20 VE, which I will be building a Nissan project. Um, Nissan's version of VTEC VT yeah and that just about covers everything um, 
like always guys thanks for the support on my new products um, i have a couple more coming out thanks for support to all the new subscribers thanks for the patreons and basically thanks for all the support guys like always like share comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one till then stay safe